Hello, everybody. Um, I am back after uh, a hiatus, I guess you would call it. Uh, sorry, school has been just school's been a lot. So, uh, but we're on break now, so I got a little bit of time to make some videos. So, um, I'm actually going to be talking about um, advanced thermodynamics here. And uh, advanced thermodynamics is really just the same thing. It's thermal, but it's sort of looking at it from like sort of a math perspective. So, we still have those things like systems we still have intensive and extensive properties um that being said an intensive property is just something that's independent of mass so if i have v which would stand for my volume right i can have specific volume which is just my big v over n this is extensive and this is intensive um in addition to things like this we're gonna have a little bit like i said it's gonna have math so um, we're gonna do a lot of partial derivatives in uh, the advanced like thermodynamics. So if you're not really strong in the math area, you might wanna just consider like working on your math a little bit and hopefully I'll be able to help with that. Um, that being said, you're gonna use things like product rule a lot. Now, um, I mean, I'll go, into these, I'll go into these deeper in uh, future videos, but what is product rule? So if I have, I'm gonna use, be using some terminology. So if I say that like psi, is a function of x and y, right? Psi is a function of x and y. I can say that um, the derivative of psi is equal to del psi del x, and then I'm gonna do something. When I say del and del, that means it's a partial derivative. Now, this d is a whole derivative. So I'm saying that the whole derivative of psi is equal to del psi, del x, those are partial derivatives, times dx plus del psi, oops, del y, dy, right? It's pretty intuitive. Um, now that being said, I can have psi is a function of z. So if I said that psi was a function of x, y, and z, I would just add on that third term. Del psi, del z, dz. And this represents the whole um, derivative. Um, we're also gonna use things like product rule. If I have something, if I have a function, hmm, sorry, this is sort of hard to do off of the top of my head. Um, let's say I have a function, let's say I have a b, that's my, um, I guess a function, right? That's my, what's going on here. If I want to take the product rule, if I want to say d a b, so the differential of a times b, that's going to be simply equal to a times d b plus b times d a. And you might be saying, what does all of this have to do with thermodynamics? We're going to get into that. But um, this is just sort of a brief summary just for you what to expect. We're going to be talking about things like Gibbs free energy, um, enthalpy. We're going to see where stuff like that comes from. We're also going to see um, things like, like equilibrium, how equilibrium relates, um, just different stuff like that. So please, if you, like as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please feel free to leave comments in the comment section if you don't understand anything at all. Um, if you have any suggestions on videos that I should do, please also feel free to make those suggestions. So let's, let's get to it.